Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2015 Bobcat T450. So I have two of these. They're both brothers uh, out of the same place. Very good running working machine. Tracks on this machine are going to be about 60%. There's some little cuts in them. Nothing structural. Um, we did do a full service on these, uh, or this machine, just like the other one. We did paint the back corners. We did end up painting here in the front of the boom. Um, this particular machine here had two steel lines we had to get from Bobcat. There was an update for this serial number. So what it was was these steel lines were rubbing this bolt right here. So there was an update for Bobcat on that. We got them and replaced it. Um, Opener Ops machine, very good running working machine, comes with a 60 inch uh, low profile a Laughlin bucket, which is a good bucket, there ain't anything wrong with them. Uh, it's what was with the machine, it is in good condition, good smooth edge. We're gonna start you back here in the engine compartment, we're gonna take you completely around this little machine. So, these machines here, <clears throat> which what was nice about these, these have what's called the 61 horsepower motor in them, or 66 horse, aren't they Matt? 61. Um, so the newer serial number T T450s uh, in your M's, they only have 55 horsepower. These little machines are amazing. The horsepower they have for the size of machine that they are. So keep that in mind. It is you know, it's essentially a T590 engine in it uh, in a smaller frame size machine. So very very snappy. They run very well. Very very impressed with them. So. We changed all the filters, including fuel, air, engine oil, hydraulic, charge fan filter, all that with OEM Bobcat filters. That is all done. Back doors are in very nice shape. I guess if I wasn't retarded, I would shut that latch. Up here is going to be your overflow, fuel cooler, uh, hydraulic tank, everything up here. And if we flip that up like I'm supposed to, then we don't have that problem. We did paint the back door, painted the track frames. We did uh, service the finals as far as hub wheels. Undercarriage balance, the undercarriage is gonna be 75 to 80%. Rollers, idlers, everything is in really nice shape. Cab paint's original. Quick touch is good and tight. Uh, tilt cylinders, everything air is good and dry. Auxiliary hydraulics up front with case drain. Seat is in good condition. OEM Bobcat seat. These are a standard controls machine. Cab's good and straighter and there's a dent right here in this handle. I want everybody to see that. Uh, other than that, everything here is good and straight. Standard controls, hand and foot machines. Um, we'll show you here. Standard keyed machine. 1448 hours. Tack, volts, no codes, park brake switch, push to operate button, everything here releases the way it's supposed to. So, we're going to take this machine, I'm going to fire it up, we're going to run it around, I'm going to show you it does everything it is supposed to do, uh, part of what we do here. If you're looking for a nice size little machine, 1,400 pound operating capacity, it packs a punch. These little things really run good because of the horsepower. Um, we're going to fire this thing up, we're going to run it around and show you it does everything it's supposed to do. Here we go. So again, these little machines have some really nice zip to them. You can see well out of these machines, start running work very well. Good visibility to the back corners of the tracks. Um, Hydrostat's very good and smooth. You don't get that lag whenever you are taking and pulling your boom down like you do in a machine that's underrated on its horsepower. What I like about this little machine, it is extremely nimble. It, it zips around on a dime, but it also has like I said, really, really good power to where you can really push with it.
lights all in shit, all lights work. So something we will do here, even though this is not a power attached machine, I will still take, show you that everything unhooks and hooks the way it's supposed to, okay? So there you can see standard Bobcat interface. Something else we're going to do, and we'll go ahead and lock the parking brake on. You can see it will not drive through the brakes. There the brakes are released. go ahead we're gonna relatch this bucket one nice thing about the t450 it is standard skid steer quick touch if you want to put fork small grapple um, auger 60 inch raw count anything like that you have that ability uh, with this machine to run a lot of different attachments so which is nice you want to be able to have that versatility Fellas, there you are. Very, very good running. 1448 hour machine. Um, good tracks, just serviced. There's no oil leaks on the little machine. Good drive motors, very strong, uh, very snappy little machine. And again, it is a very nimble little machine. Um, you'd be very impressed with that little skid loader. And its brother is the same way. Um, we are really, really impressed with the size of that machine and how it pushes in the power to weight ratio it has is amazing. Just a nice little, little skid loader. So if you got any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Uh, please check out everything we have to offer. You never know what we might have. If you're looking for something special, give us a call. Chances are you never know what we may have be coming in or here and not online yet. Have a lot of equipment that's not advertised. Again, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. As always, thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.